What is going on everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day so far, it is your boy Edo here back again with another video on the blockheads and today we're going to be looking at flex mats. If you don't know what flex mats is, it's the famous item called the invisible block. So now I'm going to cover up everything you need to know about them and I'm going to cover up how many they are, what they look like, the methods on how to remove them, and lastly what you can do with them. So just sit back and relax and I'll explain everything. So first off, there are three types of flex mats. As you can see, there's the woven flex mat. There's a yellow flax mats, and lastly, there's a red flax mats. So they look all exactly the same. There's no difference between them, and they have the texture of the rock. So now I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So as you can see here, I have placed some woven flax mat on some rocks, and I didn't place the rock background. So this is what it looks like. You can actually step on it, and you can walk over it, and this is what it looks like. So now next up, I have some flax mat on some rocks. So as you can see here, you can actually walk on them and now you can actually spot them by looking around it. So as you can see, you can actually see some shadows around it and that is how you can spot them. So next up, I'm going to show you guys what happens if you place flax mat next to another block. So as you can see now, I have placed some rocks next to a flax mat. So as you can see here, I can actually see through the rock and see the sky. So this is actually pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you guys how to remove them. So there are actually two methods. One method is with a glitch and another method is with normal fire. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing with the glitch. So what you need for the glitch is a door and an elevator and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So first off you need to place a elevator on a block and just like this under the flax mat and this is what you want to do. You want to place the door on the elevator and now the door is covering up the flax mat and it's actually overriding and it's gone because the door took over the place. And now if I break the door, the flex mat is gone and as you can see here, it is completely gone. You don't see any shadow anymore. So the second way to remove a flex mat is simply with amber. So now as you can see, I can actually burn them. They act exactly like wood. They're actually burnable. So as you can see here, it's going to be gone in a few seconds. So as you can see here, it's gone now. So now I'm going to show you guys what you can actually do with them. So as you can see here, I have placed a flex mat over here. As you can see, I can actually walk on it. And as you can see, if I zoom out, you're going to see a little black spot and this is where I place the flax mat. So it acts exactly like a wood, it leaves a background behind it. As you can see the wood, I have actually another flax mat here and a wood. And as you can see the wood, it has a little background under it. It goes all the way down. It's the same thing for a flax mat. It also has a background under it. So as you can see, I can actually place a trapdoor and the trapdoor is going to use that material to make the trapdoor. Now the trapdoor is in the flax mat material. You cannot remove it with anything, you can only remove it with the elevator glitch and with the fire. Also, if you place the door on top of it, it's going to work too. As you can see here, the door took over the material and now it's actually on flax mat too. So as you can see, I can actually walk through and I can actually go down here with the flax mat material with those two doors. So now I'm going to show you guys extra thing you can actually do with them. So as you can see here, I have a flax mat block here and I have a trap door right there next to each other. So you can actually place a sign on the flax mat. As you can see, it is actually invisible behind it. If you didn't actually have the trap door, it would have worked either way because it acts like a real block, but it's just not breakable like the others. So now I'm going to show you guys another thing you can actually do. You can actually place a lantern on it. And now it looks like the lantern is actually floating and it is actually pretty cool. And I'm going to show you guys another thing you can actually do. You can also place a shelf or a cabinet. It's going to work either way. So any placeable item will work. You can actually place it and acts like a real background. So it is actually pretty fun. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the wood can actually burn the flax mat next to it. So as you can see, I'm going to burn the wood. And keep an eye on the background. As you can see, there's a background of the flax mat right there because it's actually making it see through under the rock here. And just keep an eye on it. Once the wood's gone, the background is gone too. Now watch, when the flax mat is gone, the background of the flax mat is going to be gone too. Watch this. As you can see, it's gone, now everything is gone. And also flax mats are really useful for hack proofing because if you place any flax mat inside your protection sign, no hacker will be able to use the elevator and door glitch because they won't be able to place anything. And also they can't burn it because they can't use amber while it's protected. And yeah, this is all I wanted to say about flax mats. And if you're still here at the end of the video, I'm actually doing a giveaway. And as you can see the last basket in my inventory, I'm actually going to give this whole basket away. It's really simple how to enter this giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be picking up one random comment. And I'm going to be checking if you actually subscribe to me and if you actually like the video. And good luck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something about the flax mat. And if you guys have any trouble or any question about this, just leave a comment down below. Or just follow me at Twitter and tweet at me and I'm going to answer your questions. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out.